Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fastest growing gear site on the web, and welcome to another one of our Versus videos. That's where we take two pieces of gear and pit them head to head, get real world feedback in the field from our team test pilot so that you can more easily make a tough decision. Now, these are two helmets that often get compared at speedaddicts.com. Our customers are not sure which one to buy. They're both targeted at that V twin market or anyone that really wants a badass looking full face helmet. And on my left, we have the new Scorpion XO Covert FX helmet. And on our right, we have the Simpson Speed Bandit, both polycarbonate full face helmets that look sick. And they actually both come in the same kind of Nardo gray color. But which one should you buy? Well, hopefully we answer that question in today's video. But before I hand it over to our team test pilot, we're going to remind you, if you're shopping for gear online, we would really appreciate your support at speedaddicts.com. And in return, we're gonna offer you no cost returns. So if you get the helmet, you get any sort of gear from us, you don't like it for any reason, doesn't fit, you want a different color, just decide it's not for you, we're gonna give you a free return label to get it back to us, we'll make it very easy, it's self-service, completely free, as long as the gear's brand new, in the original condition, and you live in the lower 48 states, we're not gonna nickel and dime you on that return label like those other guys, you know who I'm talking about. So give us a shot on your next helmet purchase. There's gonna be a link in the description to both of these, so if you'd like to purchase one of these, we make it real easy down there. And with that, let's head to the streets and find out how the Scorpion XO stacked up against the Simpson. Hey, Speed X family, welcome to today's episode of Versus. On the left, we have Scorpion's Covert FX facing off against Simpson's Speed Bandit. Both of these are full face motorcycle helmets designed for V-twin riders or anyone who's really looking for an aggressively styled and value conscious full face motorcycle helmet. Now the Covert FX retails at $250 versus the Simpson Speed Bandit, which comes in right around $288. Both helmets are DOT labeled and ECE certified. However, Scorpion has the distinction of having the latest and greatest 2206 ECE certification versus the Simpsons older style 2205. On the scales, the Covert FX weighs 3.5 pound in size medium versus the Simpsons 3.2 pound in size medium. The Covert FX also comes with two face shields, this dark smoke you see here and a clear face shield. The Simpson on the other hand only comes with a clear face shield. However, it does have the pin lock tabs on either side of the helmet so you can purchase the optional pin lock insert which is right around $35. If you want pin lock on the Scorpion, you have to buy another separate face shield. Both helmets offer ventilation, but the Covert offers the distinction of allowing you to open and close the top vent and the chin vent. The Simpson, on the other hand, has fixed always open vents. Simpson carries a one-year warranty versus Scorpion's five-year warranty. Well, folks, enough talking about these helmets. Let's put them on and see which one's best on the road. Hey Speed Addicts TV family, welcome to today's episode of Versus. Today we're pitting Scorpion's Covert FX helmet against Simpsons Speed Bandit. Both of these helmets are full face V-twin type helmets that are designed for really anyone who's looking for an affordable and aggressive looking full face helmet. You just don't have to be, you don't just have to be a V-twin person to wear these helmets. We're wearing the Covert FX in size medium. It weighs 3.5 pounds. That's 0.3 pound heavier than the Speed Bandit, which weighs 3.2 pounds. You can't really notice the difference though when you're wearing it. Now this helmet costs $250, which represents really good value in that segment. We really like the fit of this helmet. This helmet fits a lot more snugly and a lot more securely than the Speed Bandit. If we were wearing a Speed Bandit right now, we would probably size down to a size small just because the fit is so much looser and more generous. That said, if you're a bigger person with a big round head, you might like the fit of the Speed Bandit a little bit better just because it is a lot more loose fitting. Now, inside the helmet, the Covert FX, it's a lot more premium than the Speed Bandit. The padding, the material is of a higher quality. We really like the moisture wicking material, which does a good job of removing perspiration from your face when you're riding in warm weather. If you're gonna be fitting a Bluetooth communication system on this helmet, this helmet definitely is more compatible with that. We like the deep recessed pockets inside the foam which make it a lot easier to fit the speakers inside the Covert FX. The only caveat is the chin bar area is not quite as flat as the Speed Bandit. Now in terms of the viewport, both helmets have really excellent peripheral vision, but the Speed Bandit takes things a little bit further. It has a deeper 
taller face shield, which allows you to have a better field of vision when you're looking ahead. The Covert FX certainly isn't bad, but the Speed Bandit has a better viewport. It's worth mentioning that this Covert FX comes with two face shields, this dark smoke face shield and a clear face shield. They're really easy to remove via this external mechanism right here. You pull out the face shield and pop it back in. It looks complicated, but it's actually really easy to use. The Speed Bandit only comes with a clear face shield, but it is pin lock ready. Scorpion sells pin lock ready face shields, but you have to pay extra for it. Pin lock, if you're not familiar with pin lock, it basically allows the visor to act like a dual pane window. Both companies sell the insert costs right around $35. Now, ventilation. Both helmets offer ventilation, but the Covert FX takes things further with allowing you to open and close this top vent with this lever right here. And there's also a lever inside the helmet, which allows you to manipulate this chin vent. The Simpson, on the other hand, is fixed always open. Both helmets feed a fixed always open exhaust vent. You're not always riding in 100 degree weather, so you're going to want to be able to close the vents every now and then. But the Simpson does flow more air. It's noticeably more, moves more air than these Covert FX helmets do. But they're also, the Speed Band is also a lot lighter. You'd be surprised how quiet this Covert FX helmet is. Now in terms of construction, this shell is a composite shell. The Simpson Speed Bandit is a little bit less expensive in terms of its shell material. Both helmets have ECE certification, but Scorpion has the newest 2206, which is new for the 2023 calendar year, where the Simpson uses the older ECE certification. Both helmets are DOT labeled, but they do not have Snell certification. The Scorpion Covert FX also comes with a five-year warranty versus the one-year warranty on the Simpson, which is something to remember. It's nice that Scorpion really stands by its product with that five-year warranty. Well, folks, that wraps up our quick review of the Covert FX versus the Speed Bandit by Simpson. If our money was on the line, we would absolutely go with this Covert FX. Yes, the Simpson does look better. Yes, it is a little bit lighter. Yes, it does flow more, more air than this Covert FX, but the interior of this helmet just fits a lot nicer. It is more feature rich coming with the two visors, the ability to open and close the vents and that five year warranty. And it's cheaper. Without a doubt, we'd go with the Covert FX. Well, folks, that wraps up today's Versus Style comparison. Make sure to subscribe to the Speed Addicts TV YouTube channel so you can stay in touch with all of the content coming out here. Leave a, com leave a comment in the comment section. What do you think of this helmet? And we'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for riding with us.